Okay, here we go. Another microphone in this microphone series. And this one is the newer NW800. I got the black model, but they have white, blue, shiny blue, metallic blue, more blacks and more whites, I guess. Eh, well, I got the black one, so let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open and see what we got. Ah, this is what we got. We have a new professional broadcasting and recording microphone. Condenser microphone, unidirectional. That means the sound is, com uh, well, it accepts the sound from one direction. Oop, that's pretty bright. Hold on, let me uh, see if I can make some adjustments here. Whoa, hold that thought. How's that? There we go. Is that more readable? There we go. Just let you guys read that really quick. I'm not going to get into the specs too much, which is why I'm taking a little bit more time to show you this and actually talking over it instead of fast forwarding through this like I normally do. But let me just set that aside. Need more information. Okay, so what do we have here? We have, ah, this is the shock mount. Yeah, well, let me go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what we're looking at here. Nice, <laughs> brand new shock mount. Here we go. Okay, and some silica gel. Yep, shock mount. There we go. Squeeze that. Oh, there we go. Squeeze that. The microphone fits in. Nice little foam on the inside. Keep your microphone from being all scratched up. We have your XLR cable, XLR to 3.5 millimeter. Okay, so right. we got your pop screen, I guess, pop filter, windscreen, you know. When you're using all your plosives, your pop, pop, Peter Piper pick the thick of pickle peppers. That guy, and then we have the, ah, uh, that's pretty. Yeah, you can see the microphone right there, the uh, cardioid mic. I'm not gonna take this thing apart, but yep, you can actually see it in there. Wow, this is pretty nice. Yeah. XLR, should snap right in, and it does, and comes right out easily. And like I said, with the, uh, shock mount squeeze the springs it slides right in hold securely bam very secure not bad neighbor well I'm gonna go ahead and uh plug this bad boy in we're gonna see what it sounds like let's go What's up everybody, it's Ahmed with A. Roberson Photo, A. Roberson Media, and I'm back with part six, six of my microphone comparisons. I'm comparing my microphones, these microphones, uh, cardioid microphones, unidirectional, meaning you can only talk into one side. That's supposed to be what it means, right? And we're going to find out because I'm going to talk into one side of the microphone and rotate it and see if the audio changes. But I'm comparing, I'm comparing the audio to my Canon G50 built-in microphone. As you've seen in the other videos, link right here, screenshot right there, One of those, I'll put it in one of those spots, but I'm comparing these microphones to the built-in microphones in my Canon G50 camcorder. Some of you guys use DSLRs, they have built-in microphones. Some of you guys are satisfied with the audio that's coming from the built-in microphones. Me, I wasn't too satisfied with that. I wanted to step my audio game up a little bit, and I'm taking baby steps, meaning I want to purchase inexpensive but popular and good microphones and see how they sound in comparison to my Canon G50. Yes, I've been using my shotgun mics and the shotgun mics work pretty good, but something was wrong. It still didn't feel right. It didn't, I mean, it sounded like me pretty good. My audio stepped up 10 times since I first started doing videos, but I still wanted to make my audio that much better. So what I did was I bought some microphones. I have a bunch of microphones. The last microphone I tested was, was the newer NW700. And now I have the newer NW800. St uh, statistics show the NW800 actually sounds better. It's supposed to. It's built better. Has a, a eh. If you were to weigh the two, maybe this one weighs a little bit more. Not saying that weight is the deciding factor that's going to make a microphone sound good. But maybe it does uh, have something to do with the building materials that they use to create these microphones. But they're from the same manufacturer, the NW800, NW700 have roughly the same specs, 
I hope you saw that in the unboxing because I'm not going to do a spec video right now. This is strictly audio. So what I'm going to do is set my microphone up into the supplied shock mount right there. And this microphone also comes with a uh, XLR cable to 3.5 millimeter. XLR cable there, 3.5 millimeter. If you want to plug into your computer or laptop or something like that, desktop or laptop. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and plug this bad boy in. Make sure I don't mess anything up. Hope you can hear me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce between the microphones. Going to bounce between the NW800 and I'm going to bounce between the Canon G50 built-in microphone to see if it's a significant difference. Or are you satisfied with the audio that you're getting from your video source? Are you satisfied with the audio that's coming from your camcorder or your phone or your DSLR? I don't know. But this microphone, I hope it sounds good. Can you hear me? Does it sound good? It comes with a windscreen or a pop filter, I guess you want to call it. Peter Piper picked the peck of pickle peppers. Peter Piper picked the peck of pickle peppers. Does it make a difference? Can you tell? I don't know. I'm doing this in real time, and I'm hoping it makes a difference. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate the microphone really quick. And while I'm talking, do you notice a difference in the sound? Is my audio weaker? I'm not changing the strength of my voice, the affliction of my voice, but as I rotate it, does it get louder? I'm still trying to talk and rotate it at the same time. There. Does it sound better that way? How does this audio compare to the audio, other audios in my other videos that I've been doing? And you can go ahead and find some right there. Maybe find some right there. I don't know. Well, but how does it sound? If you go back to my other video, does this microphone sound better than the newer NW700? Does it sound better than the Toner BM700? I think they're all made by the same people. I'm not doing a direct comparison in this particular video, but look at this. I mean, come on. Oh, there we go. Toner BM700, newer NW700, newer NW800. Same manufacturer, different labels. I don't know, but it shouldn't matter because if they're delivering good quality, quality audio, who cares if they came from the same factory, right? And the price point. I got this bad boy on Cyber Monday. You will not believe how much I paid for this. Well, if you saw my other video, you know how much I paid for it, but I'll tell you again. I paid $11 for this <gasps> microphone after shipping and taxes maybe came to 13 bucks, but still to get better audio for 13 bucks, come on, but is the audio better? Is it that much better? Or is the Canon G50 built-in microphone holding its own? I got the Canon G50 set at 50% gain because if I turn it up too much, it starts to distort. I have the gain at negative 12 dB on my Tascam audio recorder. That seems to be the standard from the videos that I've seen that that's the peak before it starts to distort. Before it starts, when you start using plosives, P's, P's, or when you get really close, I don't know if I'm too close or not, but it at negative 12 dB, it doesn't distort. So I'm just talking right now so you guys can hear this BM700 or NW800. I'm sorry. See, all these different microphones getting a little uh, wrapped around myself. But NW800, is it that much better? How does it sound? You guys let me know in the comments, please. And stick around because I have more microphones to test. And I'm going to start doing some direct comparisons of this microphone with the toner microphone with the NW700. And I'm going uh, to test amongst each other and see if one stands out to help you make an informed decision. So let me know what you think of this microphone in the comments and come back for the next videos to see when I start doing a direct comparison. See if you could tell the difference and make an informed decision. So. This is Ahmed with A. Roberson Photo, A. Roberson Media, and I'll see you in the next video of this microphone test series.